Hi, today we're going to assemble an SD's Firestreak SST kit. Let's get started. We're going to begin by snapping together the nose cone. Simply take the two halves, snap them together. Then take the cardboard tube and make sure you have a snug fit between the nose cone and the tube. If the fit's too tight, you can take some sandpaper and sand around the edge. If it's too loose, add a little bit of masking tape around the edge of the uh, nose cone. Next, we're going to insert the shock cord into the cardboard body tube. Take this sh shock cord and insert it into the small hole at the top of the tube. You might need something to help you get the shock tube out of there. I'm going to use a pair of tweezers and then we'll just pull. On this end, we just need to tie a double knot. Now keep the shock tube from pulling all the way through that hole. All right. Now, take one of the plastic body tubes and align that small slot with the tab in the plastic body tube. You'll feel when it goes in. Take the two flamed fins, that is to say the fins with the flames on them, and insert them into the small slots on either side of the body tube. Then install the other half of the plastic tube. Make sure the fins stay in where they belong and, it, and that the shock tube isn't sticking out. It's a little bit of a balancing act, but you'll get it done. There we go. Next, take the plain purple fins and slide them into place. like that. Now we'll address the other end of the shock tube or the shock cord. You're going to want to tie the shock cord to the other end of the nose cone. A double, double knot here would work. And then in this case, I'm just going to trim a little bit of the extra shock cord. There we go. We're almost done with assembly and are almost ready to load the motor. But first, we're going to attach our streamer. To attach the streamer, come about one third of the way down the shock cord from the nose cone and just tie the streamer under the shock cord. Just like that. Then fold the streamer into thirds and roll. If you have large fingers like mine, this is probably the hardest part of the entire assembly. All right, now we're about ready to load the motor. First, we need to add a recovery wadding. This protects the streamer from the blast of the ejection charge when the 
motor is burnt out and it's time to inject the streamer for descent. Reroll the streamer because it always is going to come unrolled. And insert it into the tube with as much pressure as necessary, but hopefully very little. And there we have it. This rocket could fly. But we're going to finish it with our stickers. So the kit comes with one very large sticker that's wrapped around the body itself. It's completely optional. Uh, if the kids wanted to paint it, they could do that. If they were interested in putting their own sticker design on it, they could do that. But in this case, we're just gonna put on the included sticker. Make sure you go below the nose cone and that you don't interfere with either the fins or the launch lug like I did right there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that up. So there we go. We're going to have the Fire Streak logo on the side of the rocket. The last thing we have to do is load the motor. So in this case you want to take this motor here, it's a half A34T with the small hole here and insert the motor like that. Then you want to twist on the motor retaining ring and twist. That'll lock the motor in. This is an electric match. Shove it into the hole in the bottom of the motor and then insert a motor plug. Usually this is a simple process, not today. And there you have it. This guy is now ready to go out and fly.